Hey, this is Eric again with another VB how to tip to make sure that you get all the tips. Make sure that you click on the button to subscribe to the channel and also click the button, click the notification icon to be sure that you're made known of all the videos I release when I release them. So, today's video is on VBA message box new line you're adding a new line to your message box so and the first example I have two examples here why you want to add a, a new line to your message box well you probably want to make you may want to go down a few lines and just have some lines or break to the next line so in this video I'm going to talk to you about uh, typewriter versus um, yeah, the different type of lines, and really a lot of this are technique, technical stuff. Uh, the first line, the way to add a line item, add a new line, is using the VBCRLF, or uh, Visual Basic Cares Return Line Feed. Okay, and this is the enumerated. I, it's I think this is using the uh, the character character 13 but it's the VBA way of doing things or the the line feed and it's it's pretty much universal over all the the visual basically all the Microsoft stuff VB CRLF so and here's my example when I run it please try your operation again um, notice that uh, again, it's on the next, the next line. The next example is to use the, the actual character code. You see, each, each item on your keyboard has, each key on your keyboard has a different code. And so, if you press, key, key press on, let's say, D, you're going to get, like, a key code if you press a K you're gonna get another key code well 13 is your your carriage return okay I'm gonna show you this yeah well it didn't do it but if you bring up a, a CR CHR is the oh no wonder because I put a bracket in there I couldn't see right Carriage card code as long so of uh, the carriage code. You know those hackers that uh, try to detect your key press. Well, you can detect with anybody. All the users are pressing on certain keys of the keyboard and make a note, make that right to a log file, and you can log log in to whatever whatever they typed in. You can log make make notes of that or log in. Like a password sniffer or whatever, but uh, I'm not going to go into that. I'm just going into uh, how to make a line feed. So, CHR, the character code is 13. And then I'm putting this character code 10 on here. And I'm getting pretty much the same thing as, as up here. Uh, kind of a history. And it's. Back in the day, this character 13 would go down the next line, but wouldn't go back to the beginning of the line. But to column one, character 10 would go down to the next line, but would go back. So I'm using character code 13 and 10. And also in some of the languages like Linux, uh, some of the non-Microsoft products are going to use... Uh, character 10 and character 13 or character 13 depends on whether it's a Windows server or a Linux server and so that was my experience I had to kind of test and uh, kind of see about what's going to identify a line feed is it going to be a, a character code 10 or is it going to be a 13 so you may have to test on that but anyway um, that's about all for the video make sure that you click 
click on the the like button if you like the video if you don't like it that's okay uh, make a note in the comments area below of anything specific questions you may have make sure that you also subscribe to the channel and thanks again for watching